These are from the Florence Regional Arts Alliance at 120 Maple Street in beautiful downtown Florence. And today I'd like to paint a little picture of a wave for you, maybe troubleshoot some issues you might have painting water. So let's get started. So today I have a little 16 by 20 canvas, which I already got a little antsy and already started making the sunlight up above. So what I want to do first is I want to take a smaller brush and make a little bit of a dark in area below. So I'm going to take a little Prussian, I'm sorry, a little Prussian blue and crimson and make a little bit of a dark area down below because in the bottom, in the ocean, it's a little darker down below. We know where all the strange creatures live. And as we get up a little closer towards the light, I'm going to switch over to a little bit of a phthalo green without changing anything in my brush. Start to work my way up, allow the paint to just go dry. And then finally, I'll just kind of top it off with a little bit of a uh, Naples yellow. Very nice, bright yellow, warm, opaque. And that'll kind of take care of that. So we start out from a very dark area and work our way up to a lighter area. Now the next thing I'll do is I'll grab a little bit of white and maybe help to brighten that little bit of that yellow up because now it looks a little green mixed with the other colors. And that looks really nice for the ocean. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll try to begin to depict where is that water coming over. So I'll take a little bit of a blue and a white and make the top of this wave coming over. Maybe a little more white. We'll just show the top coming over the top of those colors. And this can go on its way out that way. So very simple. We have a dark area and starts to curl into the lighter areas. Now what I'll do is I'll take my big knife and I'll grab a little bit of white. And maybe I'll show the front edge of the water in front just with a little bit of titanium white. And then that begins to pull upward into the wave. So we can just actually use our finger here and finger paint, nothing wrong with getting your fingers dirty once in a while. Pull it right up into the water and follow the curl of the wave. So we have a, a, a feeling of the motion of water. And maybe down here we have another section that already washed in and now is washing back out again in front of that bit of water. And then finally to finish off this bit of a wave, I usually just take a fan brush and with a little bit of a color that is like alizarin crimson and thalo blue, making a rainbow of color because when water breaks up in the sunlight, it has a cool side and a warm side. So all together I get two colors in my brush. A cool color, which would be the phthalo blue and white, and a little bit of alizarin crimson and white. And so right where I left off, that becomes an explosion of color going up into the air from the top of the wave as it should be hitting on a rock or something of that nature. So now if you really want to get a lot more white in that, you could show a little more of the sunlight hitting on that bright white. And we leave the shadow underneath because even water casts shadows, so we want to leave that in shadow down below. Okay, I hope that was helpful to you. It was a real quick and basic idea of a wave. So I'm John Leisure at the Florence Regional Arts Alliance. Until next time, thank you.